Hey church, it's great to be with you today during this 21 days of prayer. Really hope that you're enjoying um, the time of prayer so far. And today we're going to be um, focusing our prayers on well-being. And if we haven't met before, my name's Julie Keir and I am the lead for Audacious Wellbeing and also along with my husband, location pastor for our Manchester South location. So we're going to hop in this morning to um, a scripture to encourage us from Genesis 15 and this is we're hopping into the story about Abraham and Sarah it says after this the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision do not be afraid Abraham I'm your shield your very great reward but Abraham said sovereign Lord what can you give me since I remain childless and the one who will inherit my estate is Eleazar of Damascus and Abraham said, you have given me no children. So a servant in my household is going to be my heir. And then the word of the Lord came to him. This man will not be your heir, but a son who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. And he took him outside and said, look up at the sky and count the stars if indeed you can count them. And then he said, so shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. Now, as we focus today on our prayers for well-being and we're thinking body, mind and spirit, I want us to um, visit this chapter of Abraham's story where God encouraged him to step outside and look up. And in this encounter with God, Abraham, I don't know if you noticed how direct he was with God. And with some pretty cheeky boldness, he said, Lord, what can you give me since I am childless? Now, Abraham was so fixated on what he didn't have, a son and an heir, that he couldn't conceive of the miracle that God was laying out before him. God's promise was that him and Sarah, their old wrinkly bodies, were going to produce a baby. And not just a baby, but generations, including us, were going to benefit from that promise being fulfilled. But Abraham just couldn't see it. And I wonder if that sounds familiar to us today here in our 21 days of prayer with so much that we're believing God for. And maybe you feel stuck in your physical or emotional health or someone in your family does. And even the thought that things could change seems impossible. But God knows for Abraham, if he stays within the four walls of his tent, um, he has a physical ceiling blocking him from seeing the bigger picture. For us, maybe there are limitations that we can see that are a ceiling. Maybe it's our personal history, stuff that's happened in our past or in our family, family maybe successes or failures that we just cannot see beyond. And it looks pretty hopeless to us. And so we exclude ourselves from a miracle. But what God does here in this story and what I've entitled this little devotional this morning is step outside and look up. Immediately that Abraham gets outside of his four walls, he looks up, he sees the vast expanse of the skies and the stars and he gets it. In this moment, he has a supernatural revelation that God can do more than all that he could ever have asked or imagined. And today, as we pray for well-being, I want to encourage you to step outside of your perceived limitations and look up to see the God of the impossible. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for every person who's tuned into this devotional today. Father, you know what their limitations are currently, physical health, emotional health, in their spirit. Lord, they feel they need a miracle. And I declare and pray today for miracles, Lord, all across every location and campus of our church, that you'll do miracles miracles and well-being today and everyone said amen see you soon church